Hello everybody, this is Xenocat8235423, welcome you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Almost jumped right off the edge there. That was close. This We have to climb this wall. We're making our way through the high end tomb today. As we've been doing for a little while. Darn it, I need more green diodes. Or whatever the other part is, I forget what it is right now, but... We need one of we need one more item for finish the Collectopedia. We've already gotten all our and things for the from the embassies. We got the spiral lamps that I needed for that collection quest. We're done with all the Alchemoth collection quests actually now that I think about it. We just have the Earth Sea collect quests left, and I don't I think it's just one collectible. And I think we got all that the materials from this area for now. Something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> It's not attacking us, at least. Oh. oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! You spoke too soon, Shulk. We have a boss fight. Another defense mechanism. It's sort of a mid-boss of the dungeon. The We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. For what, Ryan? I want to know what this record is for. Like your damage record? Because maybe... The boss music... This thing doesn't even get boss music for its actual fight. Because this is just a regular enemy that we're forcing us to defeat. As like a... Hey, are you strong enough to get, get through this team? Hey, we finally got that. That was Ricky's 100 arts achievement, by the way. Because we're finally doing enough stuff with... Finally done enough stuff with Ricky. Because we haven't had Ricky in the lead that much, so... We're going to keep pushing the static. We're just constantly damaged at the time of need. And that's the Aruga Rufus. Cool. Relatively easy boss. He's the same level as the Telethia we fought earlier. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. <laughs> somebody mean Ryan. Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route I mean, will lead will. us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. Mm, she'll wait for us. Hurry. There's no time to lose. This is a video game. Timing doesn't matter unless you put a timer on the screen. In terms of plot, at least. Do I go out of my way for that item orb? I think we do. We're gonna climb... You can indeed jump onto these things. We have lots of climbing to do in this chamber. I'm going all this way out, all this out of my way for just this one item ward. Please be like a green diode or something new. Thanks for another tasty sausage. Don't need that. Oh well. I got one more, I guess. They're not even that good for trading, like... Dumban, I just wanted to get you out of my way. Hey, it's daytime again. We've been in this tomb for, like, 12 hours now. In... in game time. Melia took... What was it, like nine minutes to get to the end? Melia took very little time to get through this tomb. And she got here first. And then, she, like, it was less than nine minutes. Because it was nine minutes from when we entered the tomb with her 
to when she got attacked, pretty much. But that includes the time that Ryan spent pushing the button and stuff. Pretty sure it's already been at least 20 minutes of us just running around the tomb. And I'm pretty sure we're late. I mean, it's okay. It's Melia probably wouldn't be able to handle the boss by herself. Wanted to check out that heart to heart at least. And now we'll go the last way. We can't activate these bridges. I'm sorry, we just aren't allowed. I don't think we'll be able to activate those bridges for quite a while. Now that I think about it. So I love this freaking Hyantia tomb. Gosh. I think it's honestly just because this playthrough has like been the this is the first playthrough I've done in a little while that where I've gotten past the Magna Forest area. Also, there's our last collectopedia item. A white tube. Throw back to when I didn't complete this page in the collectopedia for until like almost the end of the game last time, last LP. And most of my playthroughs die out around Magna Forest, because that's when I get I get disinterested or I lose focus or something, but honestly just getting through Magna Forest has been I mean, I also do that one, a whole bunch of side quests then, so it's easy for me to lose focus on the story. But getting back into business is so much fun. Especially going past Magna Forest. They don't go past Mac the Forest. Got off the Mac the Forest. Just because it's been such a long game. It takes so much time. This is a unique monster, by the way, I should mention. We just, we're taking on a unique monster in the team, it's no big deal. You're the only one that we can take on at this point. Okay, let's heal everyone up. We're gonna use that. If it goes off. It didn't go off. I feel like it's got two to Boom, we did it. Oh wow. We just got an achievement for killing a bunch of aerial enemies. Because that's an aerial enemy. I love getting achievements for killing elemental enemies and aerial enemies based on like these things. Because I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. That is an aerial enemy, technically. Anyway. This is why I didn't buy that summon bolt dart book. There's one here. And there's these ruby glasses. Which are really freaking good. And are going on Ricky. I could put them on Charla, but... I think they're going on Ricky. I'd like to point out what he was on. I had 40 physical defense, 35 ether defense. And had an ether up 2 in it, which gave him 15 ether. This has 95 physical and ether defense. So, 45 more physical defense, and if, what's that, yeah, 45 more, no, 55 more physical defense, 60 more ether defense, and gives him 30 more ether. And now Ricky has glasses. Ruby glasses are really good. I will probably replace them later on with other things, but ruby glasses are really freaking nice. Ruby glasses are honestly... This is actually endgame equipment. They just gave us a piece of endgame equipment here. And I'm putting it on Ricky because Ricky is awesome with Ether. For now. Long term, these will be going on Melia. Because Melia and Ether. Just absurd. Hey, we made it to the bridge. 
Good job, Ricky. You learned another skill. How are we doing in terms of affinity with these two? No more with them yet. And they haven't gotten up to green, but that's okay. We're building. Anyway, we made it into the next section. This is directly this is directly below that next fight that Nelia had. Where the path split, and then there were two different bridges that I could have taken to get to the middle. So we're gonna take on this Oluga Rufus because I will need rare drops from these guys later, and they're very annoying to farm for. And I would like to have the rare drops taken care. I would like to see if I get one now, just because I know I'll need them later, and I remember needing the rare drops. I can see this isn't pushing Hold remote device. All. Screw that. Nice, you managed to catch it. We can't go this way, but keep in mind that this is here. We're not going to be dealing with that for quite some time. But there's a secret side path in the high anti tube that we can't go to yet. Anyway, we want to go over here and climb this. Because this is the way forward. I want the other green thing. We need a lot of green diodes for a quest, so I want them. And I think I'm currently at like one. We're gonna take on this little blue fist for the same reason as I did on the other one. We need rare drops. For later. Man, what a bunch of jokers. No rare drops. This is why I don't like those guys. Anyway, we're gonna climb up here, because there's items up here. Gonna keep climbing. All the way up to the top. Anyway, we can press this control device, which will let us back up into this upper area of the tomb. As we can see here, this is the last arena that Melia fought in. There's a bridge. The bridge is already up here. We, this is the only way for us to go. We have finally made it through the whole tomb. That was the High Entia tomb in its entirety. Wow, she's still saying that? Also, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, this is this is an awkward fight. So we're gonna be changing the party up, because Melly is back. I cannot equip the Ruby Glasses on her right now. She has a mask on that she cannot remove. She's definitely going in the party. And then I think I want Dumban Ricky Melia, because Shulk can't do damage to Tyrea. Otherwise I would totally use Shulk. We're going to focus on the Telethia first. Because I hate the Telethia. Haha, uh -huh, I can force Daisy. Oh, 
forgot that that's gonna make Melia start attacking all out. Thank you for toppling it. Genuinely. I'm been saving Tempest Chip for a combo. I tried dazing him, he did this dude. Because he just followed him until he was in line. I'd like to point out this is the first thing we fought that has been higher level than the Telethia that we fought back there. Well, other than the small that doesn't count. And now it's Tyrea time. Tyrea makes lots of annoying noises. No side side of of oh right, I didn't have an aura active. Duh. I'm done. And that's the solid M. Telethia and Tyreo. Didn't want to have Shulk there because Shulk cannot do anything to Tyreo. And I had enough levels that even if the Telethia soul re used Soul Read, it wouldn't have it's made anything. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. And we're all okay. <sighs> Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk, everyone, I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley, Millie, all safe, all thanks to Hero Born. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, oh, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Callion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother... Tomorrow I will mean, be if the investigation. the assassination ceremony. attempt hadn't been At there, she would have totally been fine, you so... You will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child, 
I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Aww. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Homs bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Oh gosh, they're playing this song. Sorry, there's two tracks in this game that are almost identical, except oh, one of them is in a different, except like Ricky they're in different Lee keys, happy. and the arrangement We're is different. Relieved. But but something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the crown princess? Shouldn't Callian have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. A song. Callian is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callian go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! He's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Anyway, we're gonna rearrange this party again. Enjoy this music. Because I like this song. Anyway. That's enough. Ha! Oh, gosh. I'm just gonna walk to the audience chamber. Honestly. We're pretty much done with chapter 8, actually. I feel like I should mention that. We just finished another chapter. Yeah, this is the first time we're allowed up here. Yes? Only Shulk's allowed to go in, but... Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people in the times to come. A ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire. Yep, two we gotta titans, get... The Bionis or... and the Makonis fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Homs? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the Aether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. Uh, but why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, 
descendants of Antiqua. When the Aether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs, and heed the sword's return. Trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. Ah. <sighs> All life born on Bionis affects the Aether. The Mechon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mechon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mechon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mechon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. <sighs> Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. Hmm. Who is this? I don't believe we've seen what this one. What are the one. faces? This Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea. Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Yeah, that's not good. But, that's gonna do it for this part. We have finished chapter 8 today. My goodness. Uh, I don't know what music to play at the end for the end slate of this video. I'll figure that out in editing. I might figure out which track is playing in that cutscene and play that. But for now, that's going to do it for this part. Woo. We finished up the tomb today We and finished up the chapter. Next time, we see what happens now that apparently there's going to be an attack on Bionis. And... And Melia's officially the crown princess. Oh, yeah. I'll see you then.